Another big story we are following. A former police officer confesses to killing two women and dumping their bodies in suitcases along the side of the road in the town of Geneva. Stephen Zelich is a former police officer from West Dallas and Mequon, but he remains in the Walworth County Jail this evening. A warning, the details you're about to hear are quite graphic. Now, according to the criminal complaint, Zelich admits to the killings. The first woman, known as Jane Doe, was killed late 2012, perhaps early 2013. Zelich hid her body in his apartment in West Dallas. She was found in the town of Geneva with her hands bound with rope behind her back. Zelich told police he killed the second victim last November. She was found with a rope wrapped around her neck and a sexual ball gag strapped into her mouth. Our Samara Sotos begins our team coverage. She's live in Walworth County. Sam. Well, investigators say that Steve Zalich said that he met both of his victims online and confessed to killing both of them, one in the Kenosha area and one in Minnesota. When two suitcases appeared in the town of Geneva in early June, a female body inside each one of them, people were horrified and no one knew what to make of it. And no one deserves to die at the hands of another. Now, a former Mequon and West Dallas police officer is the man authorities believe killed the two women inside after meeting them online. Steve Zelich, police say, was into S&M. First, they say he killed a woman in the Kenosha area and stored her in a suitcase in his West Dallas home for more than a year. His second victim, they say, was Laura Simonson. After meeting online, police say the two met at a Rochester, Minnesota hotel where Zelich killed her. On November 2nd, both Simonson and Zelich checked into the Microtel Inn. On the 3rd of November, Zelich checked out of the hotel without Laura. Eventually, investigators say Zelich stuffed both women in suitcases and dropped them on the side of the road in Geneva. Detectives say the 52-year-old former cop confessed to killing both women. Steve Zelich is expected to face a judge here tomorrow. He is charged with two counts of hiding a corpse, but as you can imagine, he's expected to face more charges in the future. Reporting live in Walworth County, Samara Sotis, today's TMJ4. All right, thank you, Sam.